Hey everyone, in this video I just want to demonstrate the art of the walk-in and what I'm going to show you is how to get walk-ins on deity difficulty. A walk-in is when you walk into an enemy capital uncontested, no fight at all. So basically you're going to find their capital and find no units inside of it. So nothing's defending the city, you just walk in, take the capital. Really nice because this is a really important strategy if you want to get a fast start on deity. Obviously, if you can have two cities early in the game, it's going to be a lot better than just having one city. Because obviously there's one less opponent you have to deal with, less fighting over resources and land. And then from there, if you want to even set up a horse rush from there, that'd be a good strategy that I like to take advantage of quite a bit. So, um, we're going to use the Aztecs in this situation. So... Um, the Aztecs are probably the best one to practice this with. They start out with 25 gold, which means you don't have to worry about finding a, a, a friendly village or uh, natural wonders in order to get 20 gold, which is what you need to pop out your first warrior, which is crucial to getting a walk-in. So uh, here we are, we're on duty difficulty. Basically, we're gonna try to find our first opponent. The first thing you wanna do kind of get a sense of your relative location on the map if you can figure out where the water is that would really help you out so there tends to, tends to be like one ocean more or less so on this map for example you're gonna it's probably somewhere in kind of in the middle of this map so let's just go north and see if we can find another uh, so it looks like it's already 3900 BC still very early this is a great example so as you can see this guy's working two tiles right here so it, I'm thinking the capitals on the other side of that so let's keep going Nope. actually we could have popped down right here and got a walk-in in this case. So we could have actually got a walk-in in 3800 BC in this case. So let's go ahead and walk right back there. Now one thing I do wonder about is he has an oak tree over there. Normal circumstances, you want to set this to tree. And it looks like we stole his tree, so I don't think he's going to be able to get another warrior out. And in this case, you do have to watch out for the Indians when they have an oak tree, because that'll boost their circuit, their production early, since the Indians can take advantage of any resource, and that can actually throw off the timing. Uh, normally, you want to aim for planting in 3700 BC or earlier, or exactly in 3400 BC. That's when you want to plant your city. I'd say 80 to 90 percent of the time around there. And it should work. Now there are some things that will throw it off. Uh, the main ones that come to mind are the the Indians that can be thrown off uh, simply by getting rubber or oak. And if sometimes they'll get out get out a warrior one turn earlier than you expect. But in this case, it doesn't even matter because it's actually 3800 BC and we got here so early. Uh, another one is the Americans because they can get a great exp they can get a great explorer get their 50 gold and that messes up the timing completely um, in fact I think they even do even some of their other great people may throw it off as well just because great humanitarian means they'll have they might use it instantly and then they'll have three population I think Chinese throw it off a little bit too because they start with three population so they think they're basically a little bit faster than normal. Uh, another one that comes to mind. Um, can't really think of any others right now, but basically anything that alters gold or production early in the game, you can expect that that'll alter the timetable a little bit. So this looks like a successful walk-in right here. <laughs> 
Just as simple as that. Very easy. All right, in this case, this is our third spawn, third attempt at a walk-in. Looks like we're in the northern part of the map in this case. And again, it's always a good idea to kind of sweep around, get a sense of the general area. Looks like we're positioned on a northeastern peninsula. We're going to go ahead and run to the south. Well, yeah, let's do that. A nice little village for me, too. Let's go ahead and run that way. Another good tactic is to kind of sweep around and after 4000 BC. Sometimes you can get some easy capital intelligence out of this just by sweeping around like this. I see the Arabs up northwest of those mountains. But let's just keep going here. What I'm trying to figure out is there anything to the east of me over here? Not really seeing anything. So it's already 3700 BC, so we're going to have to settle for a 3400 BC plant in this case. Kind of amazed how long we've been running here. See the Greek over there to the southwest. My only question is, is anything directly to the east of me? It's not really showing me anything over there. I could try. Yeah, so it looks like we got a dead end here. So in this case, we're kind of doomed. We're not going to be able to get a walk in in this case. Maybe we could try, but it's not going to happen. Tarot. Yeah, so as you can see, they put their hoplite back in the city, so that's not going to happen at all. As you can see, you can run quite a distance and end up not even finding anything. I've often wondered what's better. Is it better to run east-west or is it better to run north-south? Sometimes I think it's better to go east-west. It's hard to say for sure, though. I was kind of thinking I should have went west. And sure enough, the Arabs were over there. Uh, but that's too bad. That's just kind of how it goes when you take this risk, take the risk of trying a walk-in. So, Worst-case scenarios are always a possibility. So we're two out of three so far. In this case, we are on a peninsula, which clearly we can't go anywhere else, so we have to go this way. Still nothing? Actually, I shouldn't have come this way at all. I should have went this way. Let's see if we can still squeeze one out. You never know. So I'd pretty much have to plant on this turn in order to get a walk-in. And even though I made a really serious error and ran to this northeast there and i really i think i should have known better just when i hit this hill 
I would have paid more attention and saw that this was blocking that intersection. For some reason, I was thinking you could squeeze around that, but that's not the case. But we do have a Mongolian warrior right here. And just by looking at the year, you can pretty much figure out where their capital is at this point. So this guy is two tiles away from his capital. He was probably popped out two turns ago. So as you see, his capital's right there. And it's 3400 BC, so it's going to be very easy to just pop out a warrior here. So we are landlocked here. But if you get a free city, being landlocked isn't really that big of a deal. In fact, it can sometimes be a good thing because you can use that later as a city to pop out settlers because you tend to have more growth and more production in those cities. So no big deal at all. This is sort of interesting because I actually got a free unit because this barbarian came to attack me. I'm kind of surprised it does that on deity. Shouldn't give you free units like that. Jeff no ram be off of ramen. Not all. Oh, oh. 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 So, despite a very serious error, we ended up with two capitals there anyway. And actually quite a lot of gold. We already have 40 gold because we started with 25, got another 25 here, and then we hit a natural wonder that took us to 60. So we already have 60 total gold, and we spent 20 on rushing a warrior. We even got a free militia guy out of it to defend whatever cities. We could use, even use that to choke off this choke point right here. So that's that's pretty good for 3300 BC. Two cities, 40, 40 gold, one warrior. So we're three out of four. All right, so here's attempt five. In this case, it appears we're in the central, towards the equator here. And a uh, little bit more towards the north. And it looks like we have two paths here, one north and one to the south towards these mountains over here. Once again, we'll hack it up. See if we can bust, do some uh, fog busting here. Let's go to the north. Something I should be doing perhaps a little bit more is emphasizing the fact that 3900 BC is, the, is a great turn to do some additional fog busting. I'll go ahead and just start calling it fog busting. Because that's pretty much what you're doing. So we can see the Chinese down here like working three tiles. I don't see anything up there. The reason 3900 BC is because at this point the AI has planted their city and you cannot actually see these in the first turn, but you can see them in the second turn. So it's a pretty good habit to establish this pattern where you're peeking at the enemy in 3900 BC. We found the Americans and we found the Chinese as you can see. Unfortunately, I don't actually see anything over here. So I don't know if we're going to be able to find someone over here or not. Yeah, so in this case, it looks like we've hit a dead end. Yeah, this is a dead end. So, in that case, we should have went to the south. So, a clonum group. There's no way we can get a walk in in this case. Now, what may have been a good idea, now that I think about it, since I didn't really know whether to go north and so north or south in that case, what might be a good idea is just kind of wait at the intersection in 4000 BC and then 
In 3900 BC, you can scope out and do some fog busting and figure out where the AI actually is before you commit to north or south. So I may have actually gotten a walk in there and if I just did that instead. Because uh, the Americans and the Chinese were to the south there, so um, that may have been possible. Even though Chinese and Americans are kind of tough to get a walk in on. It would have been more possible than just running down that dead end. So we're here on attempt six, three out of five so far. Woof Nothing over there. Once again, we'll do some fog busting. And look to the, yeah, so we got Spanish there to the east. Always a good idea to zip around, try to see what's on the map. There's really no reason not to. Looks like England's over there as well. Or the Indians. Oh, there's the Greek. No, we're not going to be able to get those guys, so let's just focus here. Oh, didn't know this was there. So it's 3600 BC. As you can see, they are right there. Lots of trees here, so it's time to think. They're going to get their warrior next turn. So we're going to want to get out of his way. He's probably going to run to the east. We'll go up here and we'll peek and see what they're doing. What we'll do is we'll run over here. It looks like the warrior ran the other way. So we'll come down here. And this is actually a pretty good spot for us. So as you can see, his warrior ran to the south. And we, so as you can see, we plant. We did the 3400 BC plant. And in this case, because we planted in 3400, we're actually going to get navigation from the Spanish, which is awesome. Navigation is one of the best technologies you can start with. I don't see any whales nearby, so that puts us at four out of six. But that would be that'd be interesting to start with. That it's always nice to have. All right, in this case, it looks like we're on a peninsula near the. I don't know. It looks like we're a bit north of the equator, and the ocean's to our east here. So probably gonna have to want to run this direction. Ooh, it looks like you got to watch out for these barbarian huts because they can really limit your options, obviously, as we've seen in uh, previous attempts. One of these... We have no, really no choice here, so we're just going to go this way. Let's see if we can see anything through the fog here. See Arabs. They're a ways away though. They're on the other side of that water, which is kind of a problem. If 
but maybe. Maybe. Kind of wondering if we should just venture to the west and hope we find somebody. I don't really see anyone at this point. Get her with it. So I found the Mongols. Mongols are pretty much right there. I could probably get them. Or perhaps... How far are the Arabs? That's the question. So as you can see, we're on that hill. So if we went one, two... You can actually count the steps out from this mountain. Just get the fog to stop messing with us. Looks like he is like right here. So we can go one, two. I believe we could do it. Let's go for it. So at this point it's 3500 BC, that means that his warrior is now one step away from the city. So at this point we would have to plant, because it's 3400 BC. And uh, if we stepped closer I believe we'd be too close and then we couldn't plant. So, uh, in this circumstance, we're a little too close. Uh, well, we're too... We don't have any good trees. Well, we, we could maybe borrow his tree, but we'll see what happens here. So, I'm wondering what happened there. It looks like he got a warrior in 3300 BC, which is not normal. I'm wondering if maybe he got something to help him out. I don't know if maybe he got a hut or something like that, but this is not normal. But in, the, in this case, he just built it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so, 1 versus 1.5 isn't too isn't very good odds at this point of the game. So that's a little unfortunate. Maybe the Mongols was the better bet in that case. What's that put us at? Four out of seven, I believe. So the only thing I could think of that possibly happened there, maybe he got a natural wonder or maybe he got a village for 25 gold. Because I don't think that's normal for the Arabs to do that. So that was unfortunate, but that's you know, part of the risk of trying a walk-in. Let's see what we're doing here on attempt number eight. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Let's see if I can at least figure out where the ocean is. I think we should go to the east. See the Spain is to the north over there. Not really sure where that is though. So it's right by that three point mountain. That's kind of far. Kind of far. Can we find anyone that's closer?
I'm kind of surprised. They seem pretty well hidden on this. I don't really see anything, so that's too bad. Oof, that's too bad. That's a dead end right there. So we found the Americans. Americans are one of the ones that are tough to do walk-ins on. Depends on what kind of great person they got. We'll take a peek here. We'll just act as though, since we don't really know for sure what they're up to, we'll just try a standard plant in 3400 and hope for the best here. So it's 3400 BC. I don't know what they did though. I don't know how they got a warrior. It's not really clear to me what gave them a warrior in 3300 BC. I don't know. We'll see how long he was here at least. If he has two defense, that means he's been there for a bit. Yeah. So the Americans are always doing something a little different. All right. Looks like we're on attempt nine here. We're gonna run to the southeast here. Wow, this is like a really nice Egypt spot. Nice to see a river and so much desert like that. Thirty nine hundred BC. Let's sweep around. Try to get some intelligence on the enemy position here. I saw the Greek, I believe. There's the Germans. So we may have an easy walk in on the Germans, it seems. Just to our south here. Looks like he is one, two, three. Basically, it looks like he's just around this mountain here. So it's 3700 BC, still really early. Looks like he, as you can see, it's kind of like an L shape there. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. But basically, he's situated right here next to this mountain. So what I could do is plant say right here uh, this will give me a pretty nice setup i'd have wheat two trees of my own that don't over over uh overlap berlin and then i would even have yeah this is a really nice setup right here And Berlin, uh, the Germans are one of the easier ones to walk in on. Actually, it looks like he's actually next to the water, but that doesn't matter. I thought perhaps he was right here. So, this is a great setup right here. He, we're not going to get a tech from him, but we, he hasn't got his first warrior out yet. So there you go. <laughs> what was that little walk that he did? That was interesting. 
All right, we're here on attempt 10. And we are positioned here. Looks like the northeast portion of this landmass. Let's run over here. I kind of don't want to commit to this direction or to this direction quite yet. Let's kind of build upon that old uh, strategy where we kind of position ourselves in the middle. And then in 3900 BC, we'll sweep around and then kind of real, really commit to a direction from here. Don't see anything to the south. Or the west. Whoop. Do see the Greek up, the, up there. They're a bit far though. A little bit far. Kind of surprised at not seeing more. Since I'm not really seeing too much, I'm just going to run and kind of gamble and run to the west here. So it looks like we see the Mongols. So it's a little bit early to plant, but what we can do is we can steal their trees. It's kind of an interesting spot right here. So I'm wondering how the AI will respond to this since it's I think his warrior, first warrior, is just to the west here. But since I haven't moved a warrior... I'm kind of wondering if I should just, like, not even show. I'm not sure if it matters or not. But this is what we'll do. We'll pretend like we don't see him. Now, since he moved, yeah, so he just moved his resource over here, so that gives him sight one away. We'll see what happens here. I don't know if that'll work or not. This is kind of interesting to me. Yeah, so that's interesting. I don't know if I could have taken both of his trees or not. But I played it safe there, and I... So there we go. I think we're what's that? Six out of ten. So that's pretty good. All right. Attempt eleven here. We're in the south, so that makes our decision making pretty easy in this case. I try to run diagonally if I can. But I have a feeling this is a name tile, so let's see what happens here. Uh, right here would be a good spot because this would position us at a kind of a uh, fork in the road here. So at this point we can see, yeah, that's not the right way to go. One thing I should mention about settlers, they actually have an innate scout ability. As you can see, it doesn't say they have scout, but they can see over here which is something I kind of never really thought about, but I just kind of always just kind of knew. Because they can see two in this direction. 
and two in that direction. It's kind of interesting. I never really thought about that. But I, and if you notice, when you do this fog busting stuff, you can't do this with a normal unit. You can only do it with your settlers. And I'm wondering if it's related to the fact that it has scout. So maybe it's just a scout thing. Because fog busting doesn't really work if you're not a settler. Which is something I've always noticed. So that's kind of an interesting technical detail. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just because they're scouts. Maybe because they're settlers. It looks like the Chinese are to our northeast. So let's see what we can do. Again, the Chinese are one of the tougher ones to do a walk-in on. Especially when they're on another island. So that's not going to work. Or are they on another island? Looks like maybe they're just on a... for another fog check here. I don't think this is going to work, but let's find out, shall we? Oh! I didn't even know the Germans were right there. So does that mean the Germans are right there? It must. It must. Same scenario as last time. So it's a plane in 3400 BC. Just happened to luck out and find the Germans sitting here. And one thing I should mention, when you take these walk-ins, you may have noticed I was skipping a turn unintentionally. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but what you want to do is you want to hit A to attack. And then as you're running in, hit the right bumper. And that should avoid the automatic turn skip. So as he was running in, I was hitting right bumper. And it still skipped my turn, so that didn't even work. I think what you have to do is you have to declare war first somehow. Yeah, I think you have to declare war and then do the do the attack and then hit right bumper and then it'll work. I think it's something about the whole menu system where it disables your input. But whatever. At least, you got, at least you got a capital. It's just annoying because usually that means you wouldn't be able to change the production, change the uh, resource management on the city. And and either, another easy way to avoid it would simply be to just rush the warrior in the other city. Because then you would have two units. Anyhow, so that's another successful attempt. That's cool. Seven out of, seven out of 11 now. All right, attempt 12, let's scope around. Try to figure out where we are here. Looks like I can run east or west. I'm gonna run to the east. I feel like the ocean's to the west of me, so I'm not too sure about what west over there. Interesting. I feel like the Chinese are to the east of me over here. That could be tricky. As I've mentioned before, the Chinese are really difficult to do walk-ins on. But if it's 3800 BC, you got a shot.
We're just gonna go ahead and declare war. There's no reason not to. They have to run in here anyway. So, if I got here one turn later, I may not have been able to do this. Oh, really? That's really interesting to me. So we got writing, which I didn't think was even possible. Maybe because it depends on how many beakers it is. It's a 40 beaker tech. Why in the world did we get that? So that's kind of a mystery to me. We don't get Code of Laws in 37 or 3600 BC, but we do get writing. So maybe there's a requirement. I can't imagine them actually coding that out specifically. Like you can get writing, but you can't get Code of Laws or Monarchy or Fundamentalism. Seems a little strange. But anyway, what's that, 8 out of 12? All right, attempt 13. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we're on a peninsula based on what it looks like towards the south. So we're gonna wanna run north, it seems. We'll do the standard 3900 fog sweep. Again, I see the Chinese to the northwest and the Greek to the west, it seems. See the Greek right there by the mountain. You can even see it without fog busting at all. Can't contact them or anything like that, but you can see them. Don't see anyone else. Maybe is that the Japanese up there? No, I don't see anyone up there. Let's go for the Chinese. I don't know if a 3700 plant against China is going to work. We'll try. This should not work. We'll see. Look at that. I thought perhaps Beijing would be harder to do a walk-in on in, in this time, but uh, there you have it, 3600 BC, empty city. And also in 3600 BC, also getting writing, so. Is that eight out of 12? Starting to lose track here. That's what I think I'm doing. Eight out of 12, not sure. So I feel like I'm getting better at walk-ins just by doing this tutorial. So actually what I recommend is do the exact same thing that I'm doing about 20 times. And I'm sure that you'll get a heck of a lot better at walk-ins too. Because I'm starting to remember all the little patterns like 4000 BC, fog, do a fog sweep just to check the general lay of the land. And then 3900 BC, check again. See if you can check, see any enemy capital positions. 
And then uh, one thing I am still forgetting is declaring war before I do the walk-in. But that's another thing you should be doing. Let's head to the east. <laughs> so yeah, this is not going to work. This is a good example of a... Uh, this is an interesting little island, I suppose. Could be a good island start. But not. that's not what we're doing in this video. So, so what's this? Temp 13? This layout's going to make it pretty easy to make a decision. Uh, looks like we have snow caps, so that means we're pretty close. It's fog busting time. Saw uh, London. Let's go get him. So it looks like what we should do is do a quick peek. Looks like London's right there. Let's run away before they see us and get all alarmed. Just run around in a circle for one turn. Another way to avoid that turn skipping is if you get a militia guy, just run him around instead of um, setting him to defend. Because if he's on defend, it's going to skip his turn. So this should be a walk in. So they just got this village so I'm thinking we should get the gold from that and they're even telling us the Arabs are in the game so that's nice let's declare war before we do the walk-in and do this so we got some gold and we got monarchy. 3300 BC, very nice. You know, if we wanted to, we could even change our government to monarchy. So you may not want to forget that when you get... If you do a walk-in on the Arabs or the, the English, you may want to do that. Quickly swap your government over. Draw back! We'll give you a lot more culture per turn, so I don't see any reason to not change to monarchy. Yeah, I mean, you lose one turn, but it's nothing in the grand scheme. You get that great person a lot sooner. That'll take you from two culture per turn. Up to four, so actually eight, because it didn't apply it there. 
quite yet because it changed monarchy at the after the start of the turn. So that's really good. Eight culture per turn. I'm actually just curious in this circumstance, how big is our culture spread get in this case? Yeah. So, as you can see, the culture spread looks pretty good too. That may even get even bigger if we get one more population. From our, or we'll get two more from our free settlers, so. This would be a really fun setup to start with. Own them, dude. Just a reminder, Hip don't wow. forget to change your government. If you do manage to get luck out and get fundamentalism or monarchy. Key oh. Who? So I believe we're doing pretty well so far. We're having our, we're on a hot streak here. What are we at? 9 out of 13, if I'm counting correctly. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're even getting better as we go along here. So, let's see. This is a tough one. We're kind of in the middle. So I'm not sure which direction to go here, really. A little bit scared of all these mountains, because that usually means dead end. So let's go this way. I saw the uh, the English over there. It'd be nice to take them out again. And it looks like the Greek are down here at the, to the south. So even though I ran the wrong direction from London, I may want to just run over there anyway. It's because London is such a valuable target. So I'm not really sure where they are. I mean, obviously here, but I'm not close enough due to the fact that I ran the wrong way. I could get really lucky, but we'll see. Pretty sure there's no way for this to happen, but I've seen weirder things happen. Oh. How about that? So I actually am able to get a 3200 walk-in. Now I don't know if that's because I ran on their tree and messed them up, but I'm not going to complain. This is actually pretty amazing. Six gold and monarchy. Once again, another awesome setup. Whew. That's beautiful. Let's do one more try. So I think that puts us at 10 out of 14. Is that right? So this will be the final walk-in attempt here. Had a pretty good run doing walk-ins. 
let's have a look. It looks like we're either venturing to the west or to the north. Let's try to peek at the lay of the land around here. I'm thinking west. I'm not sure what's going on over there. Let's do a sweep. Our standard 3900 BC sweep here. Anybody? Anybody? I don't see anyone. Hmm. I wonder if they're just beyond that fog there. Whoa, what in the world? I'm so confused right now. Do I not have Scout? I thought they did have Scout. Because I'm not seeing two away now. Maybe is that, is that only on the first turn they have <laughs> Scout? So confusing. Still don't see anyone. Alright. That's the Indians. They're way far away. There's got to be someone over here. I don't see anybody. Ran a heck of a distance without finding anybody. We're gonna have to find someone soon, though. Of settler, a lot of barb huts. I've hit three, four, five barbarian huts on the way. It's pretty unheard of. I'm thinking they're like down here, something like that. Is anybody in this game? It is 3000 BC. I still haven't found a single person. Wow. Well, let's just run it out and see where we can find somebody. What a crazy map. Wow, so all the way to 2300 BC, it took that long. Way too long, obviously. So I could have went this direction, but there was no way to know that at the time. This is pretty unusual. Since we got so much gold, what we can do 
Let's just pump out three warriors and just hope for the best here. I'll show you how that works just to finish off the video. What you want to do is you want to attack and hope you take down one or two of these warriors. Yeah, they already got archers, so we can just forget about it. That ain't happening. If they had a warrior, maybe. But this is going to be a failed walk-in for sure. So that's about 66% of the time we're getting a walk-in successfully with the Aztecs. Um, I would say it'd be a little bit lower with other civs, maybe half the time. But pretty good run. I uh, hope you guys learned something from this video. This is a crazy barb hut map. Anyway, that'd be kind of, that'd be a lot of gold right there. So, uh, that's it. I hope you had, uh, learned something from this video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Give a shot yourself. See how you do. You can get a little better and that'll help you get better times on Deity. Uh, it'll help you get, you know, even not only fast domination times, because that'll help you get horse armies out really quickly but also really any kind of victory tech culture or economics so let me know if it works for you and i'll see you guys next video thanks for watching